Good morning, good morning, expert investors. I got a fantastic update for you today and a fresh haircut to boot. Uh, I, I, I want to share some very big news. As you know, we've been all over this garden suite trend uh, happening in Ontario. Uh, several investors I work with have taken advantage uh, of the garden suite trend in Hamilton and in Kitchener so far, uh, but municipalities have been a little slower to adopt the zoning that we need to put these garden suites in play. However, this past week, the biggest municipality in all of Ontario and all of Canada has just accepted and passed garden suites. We know they will accept garden suites. The exact details on what that will look like is still up in the air. They are considering that. However, the city of Toronto has come out and said officially that they will accept garden suites. The garden suite project, uh, I'm, 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 even on the weekends, I'm busy. Sorry, guys. The garden suite project is one of several studies that the city of Toronto is leading through. Ex it's expanding housing options in neighborhoods initiative. A garden suite is a detached housing unit, usually located in the rear yard and is separate or detached from the main house. Garden suites like laneway suites are generally smaller than the main house and are intended to function as a rental housing unit. Did you hear that? As a rental housing unit. They know they're going to be rental housing users. Check out the diagram here. Single family home with a garden suite in the back. Semi-detached home with a garden suite in the back. A townhouse with, you guessed it, a garden suite house in the back. From this diagram, I'm going to read this first to you. Garden suites located in the rear yards behind a single detached house, a semi-detached house, and a townhouse or low-rise apartment block. So they are not going to put restrictions on where you can, or there'll be less restrictions on where you can put garden suites. Whether it's detached or semi or townhouse, doesn't matter. The city of Toronto needs the extra housing, and this is a fantastic way for uh, residents to provide that housing as well as profit from the demand that there is for housing and therefore rent it, create extra cash flow. If you already live in the house, have a mortgage helper, maybe you finish the basement and put a garden suite. Maybe one of your children live in the back. Maybe your parents live in the back. Maybe you rent it. Options are endless. This is fantastic news. Okay. When the city of Toronto does it, it just opens the door for all the other municipalities that we're in more often. To do this also, City of Toronto is very expensive, as we know. Hamilton, much less expensive, but they already passed it. They are ahead of the trend. Kitchener already passed ahead of the trend. Now we want we want Waterloo. We want Brantford. We want St. Catharines. We want Niagara Falls. We want uh, a Welland. We want Barrie, Innisfil, uh, Orangeville. To the east, we want Oshawa, Pickering, Ajax, Whitby. Uh, all the muni small municipalities around the GTA where we're investing the most in, we want this to happen. And Toronto has just unlocked the door. So stay tuned for more updates. This is a trend that's not going away. And if you're following me, you're going to take advantage of it. I promise you. Okay. Or at least I'm going to teach you how so you can do it on your own.